Hi there, in this video we will cover four-wheel drive recovery points. Most four-wheel drive vehicles today are fitted with factory tow points. These factory tow points are typically welded or bolted to the vehicle's chassis or framework and are primarily used to secure the vehicle during transportation, for example on a ship or truck. It is uncommon that a vehicle manufacturer will rate these tow points as a rated recovery point, but for example on this particular vehicle, these hooks are rated at 2.75 ton when used together, and that just so happens to be equal to the vehicle's GVM, or gross vehicle mass. It is important to note that the forces generated in a recovery could be two to three times the vehicle's GVM. This is especially true of a fully loaded vehicle, completely stuck, for example, in sand or mud, and being recovered by a snatch strap. The factory tow points, no matter if rated, are typically not able to withstand recovery situations and in my opinion should never be used. No matter how small or big the recovery, you should only use suitable recovery points, able to withstand the large forces generated during recovery. A factory tow point can break off and potentially become a lethal missile and a fun day on the tracks can become very tragic. That's why I recommend a good quality aftermarket recovery point or points to be installed to your four-wheel drive. Now, there are two main points to consider when selecting an appropriate aftermarket recovery point. Number one, the recovery point itself. And number two, how the recovery point is fitted to the vehicle, especially the chassis. Now, expanding on point one, the recovery point itself. These days, there are a number of manufacturers who make recovery points, and not all are the same. For example, some recovery points are rated at 3.5 ton, some 5 ton, and some 8 ton, like this ARB recovery point here. Some are rated in a straight line pull only. Some come in pairs and should only be used together via an equalizer strap, while others can be used on their own and are rated at their full capacity even in an angle direction of pull. For example, this ARB recovery point allows for angles of pull up to the maximum turn of the front wheels. Some recovery points use 10mm steel, while others use much thicker steel, like this point. Have a look at the recovery points on this Nissan Patrol. They are approximately 10mm thick, are rated at 5 tonnes each, but only in a straight line pull. If you were to use these on an angle, you risk damaging the recovery point, or even the vehicle's chassis. Regardless, these recovery points are still very strong when used properly and are much better and safer than using the factory hooks or tow points. It's also important to note that the manufacturer of these points don't actually call them recovery points, but rather heavy duty tow points, something to consider. Now, compare these to this ARB recovery point. This point suits an Isuzu D-Max or MUX and even a Holden Colorado the design is quite different, and that's because the vehicle's chassis is quite different to that of the patrols. But also, it uses much thicker steel. It's rated at 8 tonnes, and doesn't have to be used in pairs. And it's rated at the full turn angle of the front wheels. The ARB recovery points tend to be more expensive, but I believe the extra cost is worth it. And they are also made here in Australia. And I've just connected a 4.75 tonne shackle to an 8 tonne snatch strap. You can see, because of that slot, it allows the shackle to move freely and it takes that bending moment off of the recovery point. So we have the ARB point on our left and the factory tie down or tow point on our right. And you can see it's a little bit flimsy. It might be good enough for shipping purposes but um, I wouldn't use it for a recovery. Now strong recovery points are only as strong as the chassis that they are attached to. And that brings me to point two. How the recovery point is fitted to the vehicle. You may have a nice strong recovery point, but if it isn't attached to the vehicle properly, it can damage the chassis or even break off. This is where you have to be careful when selecting a recovery point. It is essential that whoever has designed and manufactured the recovery point has properly engineered it to suit the vehicle's chassis to cope with the load rating of the recovery points. We hear time after time that we should always use rated recovery gear like shackles, snatch straps, etc. And yes, we absolutely should. But let me ask you this question. What is the vehicle's chassis rated to? 
This is where it is wise to purchase recovery points from a reputable brand name who have done this engineering work already, have tested them on each vehicle and signed off on the product. For example, this ARB point has been designed, engineered and tested to safely cope with the stresses created during a recovery and it certainly looks the part. By comparison, have a look at the factory tow points. Have a look at how it's mounted to the chassis. By having a good look at the chassis, you can see some thin sections like this square tube and some offset members. That's why it's important that it's properly engineered to suit each and every different vehicle. So I hope this helps you to make an informed decision when it comes to recovery points. Remember, not all recovery points are the same. Do your research and homework and make sure you get the right product to suit your vehicle. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.